If you want to get more attention from women, then there are certain things that you can do that will boost your attraction to get the most appeal from women out of the most women possible. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I talk about most women. We wanna make sure that we're attractive to as many people as possible, so that way we have more options, and with more options, we can filter for the women that we actually wanna spend time with. First, your teeth, your smile. One of the most important things in terms of boosting attraction for physical attraction when a woman is looking at you, right? So one thing that we can do very quick is get our teeth whitened. You can go to your dentist and you can get whitener from them. That's gonna be the most powerful whitener, by the way. That's gonna be even more powerful than the brands that you might see when you're at the grocery store. Although those still seem to work too, Crest whitening strips, all that kind of stuff. But the best thing you could do is ask your dentist for the actual stuff that comes in this little plastic syringe, put it on your mouth uh, during the day at night they, they have these little trays that come with it super powerful when you have better teeth that look the best that is when you're going to be able to get more attention from women because smile is really important now speaking of smile you might have teeth that are crooked maybe you didn't get braces maybe you had braces like myself but then over the years you never wore your retainer and then that screwed up your teeth uh, that was me by the way and then it was about Three, two, three years ago, I got Invisalign. Uh, no, by the way, this is not an ad for Invisalign. You can get Direct Smile Club, whatever you want. There's all kinds of different options, but some sort of Invisalign type service where you can get your teeth straightened. Uh, for some people, I know, okay, that's that might be a massive cost, but first of all, you can do payment plans with your dentist. You can do credit card, lots of options. It's a great investment to just get your teeth straightened, whitened. It takes a little bit of time, but it's gonna be the best for you. Number two, date more women. Okay, how is that an attraction booster? I know that sounds funny. It's like, well, don't I wanna build my attraction to then get at least one woman? Well, yes, but as you start to do this, you wanna date more women and have more women in your life. Why is that going to make you actually more attractive? Well, one, if you actually take any of these women and friend zone them and bring them out to bars, to clubs when you're hanging out, you're going to have social proof, which is going to make you look more attractive to women around you who see you with other women. Maybe you have stories in your Instagram with you with more women. Having women and females around is going to be an attraction booster. But even more importantly than social proof, when you're dating more women, you're going to feel more confident and it's going to make you feel like you have more options, and then it's gonna make you more attractive to the people and women around you because you're not being super needy, you're not trying and being so desperate with women to try to get them to meet up with you, so it's going to have this compound effect. We help with this in our coaching program, Trip Advice Accelerator Coaching Program. You can get a free call with us to learn more about that at tripadvicecoaching.com. There's a link down in the description below where we help you be able to implement these attraction boosters, but also date more women and be able to have more women around you at all times to be your most attractive self. Number three, talk slower when you're in conversation with a woman. And I know on these videos, you see me like a trip doesn't talk slow. No, I talk pretty fast on these because I have a lot to say and I'm not trying to attract you. I'm just trying to get you as much information as possible. But when you're talking to a woman, you want to talk slower. You want to be more controlled. When you're able to talk slower, be more controlled with your voice, be more controlled with your movements, she's going to be listening more to the words that you are saying. She's gonna be more captivated by your charisma because a lot of people who talk really fast tend to appear nervous, especially in person. Again, not so much over video, but definitely in person when someone's a little bit more erratic, they're not as attractive. So this number three attraction booster is talking slow, more controlled, with the way that you're speaking to a woman. There's a lot of confidence in being able to manage and handle the way that you appear to a woman by the sound of your voice and by the things that you're saying. Number four, glasses. Man, I wish someone told this to me when I was in college and high school. I used to wear these very wiry frames and I wore them all from second grade to oh, sophomore year of college. And I wasn't paying attention to how that looked on me. I thought it looked okay, but what did I know? So you might be thinking, okay, so is Trip saying no glasses? Not necessarily. If you can get away with getting contacts or LASIK, fantastic. That is definitely half of the tip here. Another way to do this is if some people, contacts, 
just are really uncomfortable for, for them. LASIK is just out of the question. Sometimes you can't get LASIK. Then that's fine. You can get glasses, but I want them to be trendy glasses. I want you to research online at any given time when you're watching this video and want to get glasses, what are trendy glasses to get? Because you might be wearing frames that don't look attractive on you, that are old frames, that just don't have the style and it looks like it's something that you have had for over a decade like I did when I was wearing glasses for many years. So make sure that if you're wearing glasses, they do look trendy. I cringe a little bit when I say trendy, when I like push trendy on people. But when it comes to attraction, trendy is helpful. Trendy makes you more attractive, which brings me to my next tip, okay? Which is you want to wear clothes that fit and or are trendy. The reason why I say that is because sometimes we're in trends in fashion and style where you're not really wearing clothes that fit. Sometimes baggy shirts or baggy pants seem to be the style. So you have two options. You can just wear clothes that fit because that always looks good. That's going to be a timeless look. Not saying you have to wear tight. That's not fitted, right? I'm talking about just something that fits you. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. It's perfectly in between. That's always going to look good. Or you can go the trendy option. You can go on Pinterest. You can go on Google or even on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, maybe not so much depending because there's so many videos that might be old and you want to look up trendy looks like trendy looks 2023, 2024, 25, whatever and wear clothes that are trendy. Why? Because when you're wearing clothes that are more trendy, you're going to attract a larger pool of women. If you want to have a very controversial style or you want something very polarizing, I won't stop you, but I will warn you as someone who's maybe just learning how to get better with women, that doing that's going to lower your pool. So yeah, if you want to wear I don't know, super goth clothes, or you want to wear something like ultra preppy, something like that, you're just going to be attracting women who just like that look, and you might be excluding a lot of women. So that's why if you wear something trendy, that's going to be a little bit more average, but still look cool, you'll have more people interested in that look, and therefore, again, have more options. Which brings me to my next tip. We're talking about uh, your facial hair, okay? Some guys rock a beard. They get it. They know how to do it. And there are women out there who love beards. Like I'm not talking about just like a little beard. I mean, like some women love big beards and some men have really long, big beards and women love it. So if that's working for you, great. But there's going to be less women who like a more polarizing facial hair look, right? So if you have a polarizing facial hair look, you're going to be attracting a smaller pool of women. If that's been working for you, fantastic. If it's not working for you or you think you have some sort of cool facial hair going on, but it's more polarizing and you're not sure, then I would just go to a full shave with a light stubble. And if you're someone who can't grow a beard, it's kind of patchy, then just go as clean shaven as possible. That's going to ultimately optimize your attractiveness level to make you look the best. Next attraction booster is texting them as minimally as possible. Why is this an attraction booster? The less you text a girl, the less room for error. You might say something over text message that turns her off. Use texting only for logistics and get her to meet up with you. When you're able to do that, you're gonna have more women interested in meeting up with you because you're reducing the amount of error of what you might have done over text to turn her away. Another way to boost your attraction is knowing how to master conversation. There's a video here on the screen where you can learn how to master the art of conversation when you're talking to a girl. We can also help you in our TripAdvice Accelerator Coaching Program. Go there right now, tripadvicecoaching.com. Book a call with my team. We'll chat with you about how we can help you be the most attractive version of yourself ever.